Hi, um, today I just want to talk to you about generating market appraisals. Market appraisals are the lifeblood of our business. From market appraisals we get listings, listings we get sales, and then once they go through we get to exchange and, and uh, we get paid. So it's important we have a steady flow of market appraisals. And today I'm going to talk to you about um, some ways of generating market appraisals in some short videos. So the number one way is to talk to the people that actually want to sell their house. And it's important we do this in the right way. Um, when we knock on the door of a house that's currently for sale with another agent, we can't go there with the wrong attitude and just think, right, I want to get that house on the market, what's in it for me? Um, you've got to go with the right attitude, which is, how can I help these people? And you want to go there and help and give. And uh, the best thing to do is to take something to give to that um, potential client. So some examples of, uh, are some tips on, on why your property hasn't sold, or we've got some you know, market updates and some useful information. When people are selling, they want to know what's happening in the market. So if you can provide that information, there's another example of a market review leaflet with some properties that are for sale. Uh, we've got a property market update there. Um, and this is a, a regional um, uh, update on the market. And then we've got um, one of our magazines. So when you're knocking on the door, just smile and be friendly and just say, hi there, just wanted to drop off our free magazine or I noticed your house was for sale, I thought you might be interested in a market update. And most of the time they're going to be very receptive, especially if you're smiling and, and very friendly and they'll often say, oh, that's, that's good, thank you. And then it's important we try and help them in another way, which is trying to help them find somewhere. And the best way is just to say, oh, where are you looking to move to? Perhaps I can help you find somewhere. Um, and they might say that, oh, well, it's all right, I look on right move. So before they say that, it's far better to say, look, we're very busy at the moment. We've got lots of valuations and we've got new properties coming on the market. And I can let you know about properties before they come on the market. Often people's ears will prick up, go, oh, yeah, because they want to know about the properties before everyone else. So just say, what are you looking for? Tell me, tell me your ideal property. Uh, describe what you're looking for and uh, they'll tell you what they're looking for and they might be looking for a three bedroom semi in a certain area at a certain price bracket and just say yeah I'll do my best to help you find somewhere if I find anything I'll give you a call straight away and they'll say thank you and say well look you've got my phone number can I take yours and uh, just get their phone number obviously you've got their address so you can send them details and then you might say well actually it'd be quicker if you email the details what's your email address so at the end of the conversation, you should be walking away with their name, their phone number, their email address, and most importantly, what they're looking for. And just to finish the conversation, I'll often say, look, you know, it's lovely to meet you. Um, thanks for your time. I wish you all the best with selling your property. And they go, oh, thank you. And then that should be like a, um, a reminder to say this, the, next, the next sentence, which is, oh, how are you getting on with selling yours? And that leads nicely into a conversation. And if they're not getting any joy, then you can often say, well, look, we're really busy at the moment. We need more houses. Would you be interested if I could sell your property? And hard for people to say no to that question. And what you need to do is just get an appointment and give them a reason for you to come back. And uh, some examples might be, well, I could probably give you some advice on how to generate more interest and more viewings on your property. And um, that's all free, there's no obligation. Or I can give you a second opinion on the price. So you want to give them some, a reason to invite you back and there's probably three things you could say that, that will be of interest to them. One, you can give them a second opinion on the price. Two, you can help them generate more interest in their property. And three, you could probably tell them why the property hasn't sold. So I'd say something along these lines, well look, I'll tell you what, why don't I pop back when it's a bit more convenient and I can give you a second opinion on the price and the, and the value. I can probably give you an idea of why the property hasn't sold and then give you some advice and some tips on how to generate more interest. Now most people are going to be interested in, in knowing that, even if they've got no intention of using you. I just say, look, it's all free, there's no obligation, let me pop back and then we can have a chat and about um, what we can do to sell your property. And if that's of interest, we can take it to the next step. Um, but it's all free, there's no obligation. Once you've got that appointment, there's a very good chance you can win that listing. Um, now the key to this is, is talking to all the properties that are for sale in your area and building a database. So this database is like a gold mine. You can imagine if you've got the name and the phone number and uh, the address of every property that's for sale and more importantly, what those people are looking for, you can have this database 
and then start building change. Because when you speak to the first person, they might say they're looking to spend £250,000 on their next house and you know that they're selling at £200,000. Then the next house you go to, they may be selling at £300,000 and looking to downsize to something at £200,000. And then you can speak to the next person and you might be looking to sell at £150,000 and buy at £200,000. And then from that you can say, well actually the first guy will probably buy the third guy's house and the third guy will buy the first guy's house and you can literally start building, building that database. Um, and if you have an area where there's 50 properties or maybe 100 properties for sale with other estate agents, what you'll find is when you get one of those listings, the buyer for that property could well be one of the other 49 or 50, 99 properties because most people who are selling are looking to buy another property and most of those people are looking to move locally. Um, the main reason is because they've got kids and their kids go to the local school and they've got friends and their friends live nearby or they've got family who live nearby or the kids' friends live nearby or work's nearby. So most people tend to want to move fairly close to where they're already living. So it's essential that we have a database of all these people and, that, and know exactly what they're looking for. So if you've got any listings that are currently for sale, the buyer for that listing could be one of the houses that's currently for sale on the market in your, in your area. So it's essential we have the names, phone number and email address of all those people and what they're looking for. So the number one tip is talk to everybody that's on the market at the moment to make sure they're on our database and we can help them find somewhere. And then once you've got their contact details, stay in touch with them because if at some point, 50% of them will be changing agents. And you just need to be talking to them on a regular basis so that you become their first choice when they think of, think of changing agents. I hope that's useful. Um, go out and talk to the people. And if you need any advice on what to say and how to say it, please give me a call and I'm, I'm happy to talk you through it. Thank you.